on a video like this. Wow. And your video is gonna be the first one ever. Wow. And knowing that this video is gonna be your first one ever. Yeah. I want this video to be special. My name is Watermaya, um, the one and only annoying village boy from Ghana. <laughs> I was on the journey to change the narrative of Africa by celebrating people like you. Tell you that you're amazing. Thank you. You're beautiful. Thank and you. You're awesome. Thank you. Can you tell me your name and um, what do you do in here? My name is Emma Elinam Sala. Um, I am the team lead for Butterfly Ghana Foundation, um, with our flagship project being Anglo Special School. So currently. Um, we have a school, it's a day centre that um, trains children with intellectual disabilities, yes. So we take them through um, some numeracy, literacy and then um, life skills, yes. So we equip them to um, be um, self-sufficient as possible, yes, that's what we do. I was born and bred in Accra. Okay. But then I come from Angloga, which is not too far from here, yes, yes. And um, if you're not born in here, what are you doing here then? Okay, so um, I think um, I, I came here for the first time in 2010. And after that, like, I, I used to come, like, during some weekends and holidays. My childhood friend works here. Yes, so I come to visit her. Um, in 2017, um, February, I lost my mom. I was really devastated. I was broken. I didn't even know where to start and pick myself from. Were you that close to your mom? Yes, we we're very close. Um, we are only two girls. I'm the youngest. So um, I was like, she's my everything. Like. Yes, she was my everything. Well, after losing her, uh, and then after the funeral, I decided that I had to get a place to put myself together because I lost so much weight. In fact, at that time, if you see me and then um, you were told I had a terminal disease or something, you believe it. I was really like very broken. So I needed a place to put myself together. And I had always found that um, solace here whenever I visited. So why not? Yes, I decided to come here mm. and put myself together. Yes. So the reason why you found yourself in the water region of Ghana mm -hmm. because you lost your mind. Yes, because I mean, nobody who knew me um, back then ever would have believed out. Even myself, I mean, if probably six years mm -hmm. ago, anyone had told me I would be living here, I would just ask you to slap yourself in because I never dreamed of my life here. What are you doing here at the moment? Okay, so um, back in Accra, um, I'd been volunteering with the Autism Centre. Um, that is Autism Awareness Care and Training Centre. They used to be in Kukumimli, they are now in Hacho. I'd been volunteering with them since 2012 through um, the Vodafone World of Difference program, yes. It was a two months program, but then after the two months uh, in 2012, I continued going because I enjoyed working with the children. Yes, yeah, so I continued going after 2012 through to the time I lost my mother. So when I came here trying to put myself together, I, I saw some of the children around in church, in the neighborhood, walking about, you know, so I went to the assembly to find out about them and I realized there were just a few in school and those few had to um, be sent all the way to Hohwe, which is about four hours drive from here, yes, um, to get some education. 
So I was like, okay, why um, can't we start something here? And they were like, okay, if you can put organizer stuff, why not? So I decided to talk to a few friends who supported me get um, a place, rent a place. And then I started getting a few of the teaching and learning materials. So um, in October 2018, we took off with one student. Most of the parents like cannot really afford the service. So um, just before the school took off, I, I started a seafood business. So usually um, I saw seafood and um, shrimp, oysters, um, prawns, octopus. I saw them from the women and then the fisher folks. I packaged and then sent to Accra. Yes, so um, that has been our source of funding. And then a few friends coming from time to time um, to support us. That is how we've been able to sustain yes, this till now, so, yes. Which means you are the same person who is um, giving them... Yes, yes, we provide them. snack and lunch every day. Yeah, we provide lunch. They are not paying fees? No, we don't take any money from anybody. Personally, I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll Thank give you. you I'm Thank actually you on my so way much. traveling, so you know I'll give you a thousand dollars. Thank you so time. much. But, Thank you um, so much. This year is actually declared as the year of charity on my YouTube channel. Wow. And I would love us to do something. Okay. We're gonna build you the school. Thank you so much. But I have a request. Okay. I have to name the school after your mom. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I've always wanted to um, do that in her memory, yes, to honor her memory. And I believe that would as well give me some closure, personally, yes. Because um, I, I've always been pained because like I haven't I wasn't able to do much for her before she passed. So yes, naming the place um, after her would mean a lot to me. Uh, I've never done this before, but since I declared 2022 as a year of charity, uh, I guess you all have to agree with me that she needs our support and um, she needs to be in the plan of um, building schools in 2022 and uh, when i go here the warm welcome that i had from the kids really touched me i mean it, it seems they've been waiting for me for so long <laughs> and um, yes i would be so happy knowing that you and i will be able to build a school for kids like this and listen I'm just waiting for you to give me the approval of um, the land being ready. Yeah. The committee. I'm not going to be the one to come around. The committee will come. Okay. I'll form the committee that's going to make sure that everything is done. Okay. So the committee will come and check the land, whatever you have, and then okay. we know how much we're spending on okay. the um, school structure, and then we'll build it in here. Thank you, so Thank, you we'll, we'll so Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This so, means so much to us. Yeah. We're very grateful. Thank you so don't, much. Don't stop what you've started. Thank you. It will help you make that dream come true. Thank you. My mom is so special to me. It's actually the fifth year that I also lost my dad. Wow, so, sorry. I mean, I could relate to your story how I left the city to go into the village just to heal myself oh, when wow. I lost my dad. So hearing your story, I could relate, and um, I'll be happy that we'll build a school in here and um, you name the school after your mom. That's, I mean, I don't know your mom's name for now, but the school Thank has to be in so your mom's much. name. Thank and, you so much. Thank you. And I want to say that, is there anything you want to show us before we go? Yes, we, let's. But when they come here, what kind of activities do they do? Um, we do um, numeracy, literacy skills. We teach them numeracy, literacy skills, and then life skills. Mm -hmm. And then um, one of them has inter expressed interest in learning leather works. Okay. So yes, he has started. Um, so I'm sure by the time you come back again, 
would have some slippers or sandals ready for you. Oh, yes, me? yes, don't yes, worry. Yes, yes. I'm from the village. What's the size of your feet? Uh, oh, okay. I, I would, my, my size, I don't even know. But make sure you give me the right size. Yeah? <laughs> What you've done, yes, and I feel like you deserve our support. And, um, why should we support you? Supporting us would help give more hope to parents with children with intellectual disabilities and um, within Keta and um, environs. It would help us be able to enroll more of, more of the children, and um, so we can um, help them um, become better and more useful to society. It's going to take some time. What I want to do is that um, I want us to be able to send her something, anything to run the school going until I come back again. Because when I come back here again, I want to see more kids. Seven is not enough for me because I'm seeing how the kids are so excited, how the kids are actually living their best life in here. And seeing this touches me a lot. See, I've done a lot of exercise today, man. So <laughs> all I want to do is I'm going to put her number if you have anything to support her. So you tell her, I have nothing to do with it. I am sending you a $1,000 right now. Thank you so and, uh, much. And I wish Thank you, you so all much. the best. Thank and, uh, you. And I'll Thank keep you. in touch. And Thank you. you see me soon, yeah? Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much Thank for what you, you do so for much. this kid. Thank you. I appreciate Can it. Can I help you? Of course, feel free.